Hey friends, this is Miss Jamie from Preschool and today I want to talk a little bit about opposites. That's a really big word. Can you say that? Opposite. Yeah, opposites are two things that are completely different. So I have a few opposites that I want to show you. I have this sock that is really long. Do you know what the opposite of long is? Short. This sock is short. Those are opposites, long and short. I have a bear that is really soft. And I have an egg that is hard. Hard and soft are opposites. Okay, I also have two sponges. Now this sponge is wet. What do you think the opposite of wet is? If it's not wet, it's dry, right? This sponge is dry. And I have, I have a couple of books. This one, you can see a dog that is big. And this dog is small. Big and small are opposites. So I want to read a little bit more in this book though. My friend Miss Karen gave me this and it's a really cool animal opposites book. So let's check it out and see if you can guess the opposite before I say it. Here we have short dog. This one can be a little tricky. What do you think the opposite of short is? It's not big. Tall. Tall giraffe. Quiet rabbit? What do you think the opposite of quiet is? What is completely different than quiet? Loud, loud lion. Fat pig, thin meerkat. Still sloth. Bouncy kangaroo. Heavy hippo. Light butterfly. A hippo is so heavy we wouldn't be able to pick it up, right? But a butterfly is very light. You could hold it in your hand. Those are opposites. Smooth frog. Spiky porcupine. Slow snail. What do you think the opposite of slow is? Fast cheetah. Weak mouse. Strong gorilla. White goose, colorful peacock, small ladybug. I bet you guys can guess this one. What's the opposite of small? Wow, big elephant. Isn't that cool? Small and big are opposites. There are so many opposites and I bet you could find some at your house. Why don't you go around today and look through your house or in your yard and see what opposites you can find.